Quick question. And this is a serious one this time. I'm getting quite serious. Look at my face. Anyway, um, how come uh, Australian media doesn't portray uh, the multicultural side of Australia? Um, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, the multicultural side of Australia is uneducated. You know, I noticed like, I read something from Wendy Harmer the other day, why Oprah wouldn't work in Australia. And you know what, quite bluntly, she said, because she's black. And you know what, I'm, I'm sort of going to have to agree with her. I don't get why it's so hard for the big wigs and, and the, you know, the big white older men to understand and fathom um, why, uh, or fathom just, just how multicultural we are. You know, I'll just let you know, guys, you know, if this ever gets to a, uh, someone of that sort of notoriety, like a big guy, you know what, I'll, I'll tell you where I grew up. I grew up in a place where like I was the token guy. I'd go in and I was the minority, you know, in my circle of friends, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I actually know the more cultured Australia, you know, I know Islanders, you know, I know Asians, you know, when I say Asians, you know, I know Koreans, Chinese, Filipinos, um, you know what I mean? I, I know Cambodians, you know, I know Laos, you know, Vietnamese. They don't just fall under fucking Asia to me, you know? Anyway, uh, you know, Greeks, Italians, uh, all that. So look, I'm just wondering why this isn't portrayed in our media. And when it is on these reality shows where these talented people come up like X Factor and Idol and all that, you know, you know, nationality or, or, or people of color are sort of shoved down the back unless they can be, you know, uh, compared to someone from the States that's successful, such as maybe Jessica Malboy can be, you know, compared with her fantastic fucking voice to like Beyonce, where then they'll market it because it's off the US, you know, fuck that. When are we going to embrace the Australian multiculturalism? <laughs> I'm curious. I'm fucking so curious. Because, to be honest, I'm sick and tired of, um, of not being able to relate to my uh, TV, you know, my Australian TV, my, uh, the, the drama, the news and all that, you know what I mean? It's, it's really getting frustrating, alright? So anyway, everybody, repost this as much as you want, okay? Uh, and like I said, you know, my Islanders repost this, my Lebanese friends repost this, my Greek friends, my Italian friends, Vietnamese friends, Korean friends, Japanese friends, fucking, you know what, Filipino for every, every friend that I have that's not white even necessarily, that believes in exactly what the fuck I'm saying, please repost this. And you know what, maybe one day we'll be able to watch the TV and they'll get what we're saying. And there won't be these stupid fucking Cronulla riots from these rich beach suburb areas, like for my people out west. You know, it's really funny. Like we have the, uh, you know, the that the Cronulla riots, they were going on. And I remember, um, you know, most of my friends that knew about it or were involved or whatever. You know, not saying that I'm going down there smashing heads with but um, they were on the other side, and I'm white. And it was like race riots and like I'm white and like my most of my friends were on the other side, the uh, ethnic side. Get a clue, fuck knuckles. And all you rich people, just so you know. All right. Lee Monroe, subscribe, repost this. Maybe one day we'll get it right. You know, Australia's supposed to be, you know, the land of like multiculturalism, yet it's not portrayed in anything we do. Anything. Okay, go watch Neighbours. Go watch Home and Away if you don't believe me. Where are they? Where are the other people? Don't tell them. Don't tell me it's not commercial either. All right, it is what it is. Australia is what it is. All right. Don't stop putting tokens in there. Sometimes you'll have a group. You may even have two or three Islanders. You might have a couple of Asians in there. I think that's why Underbelly is so successful because it actually has to, whether or not they like it, they have to incorporate these facts that there are other ethnicities involved. And they wonder why it's a runaway success. See me out, buy me a beer, and subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Figamortis. Repost this, bitches. Peace.